Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So in this video we're going to look at a Renault Zoe and what you do if the internal heater fan stops working and how you can fix that yourself saving hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So in this case the internal fan stopped working and regardless of what speed you put the fan on there was no air blowing into the cabin. So I'll cut to some footage to show you what the problem was. So, as you can see, no demisting now. So what I'm finding is if I set a temperature, press auto, the heat pump is coming on up front and uh, it's making lots of noise, but I'm getting no air inside i know you need to leave this a little bit longer but anyway let's put it on manual full speed on the air vents and absolutely nothing coming in so no variance in the fan here so what's happened is this 12 volt fan just ain't working so this is the first time I've done this job myself and this video is going to hopefully um, help you and not make the same mistakes I made. So what I've done is gone hunting for the actual blower fan itself and that is it. Um, and after measuring the voltages coming to the connector providing the fan it all sort of pointed as if the fan was faulty and you don't want to try to get that out that was unbelievably difficult it's buried up in that center console right at the back and uh, while you can sort of see it if you get your head up there in the footwell above the pedals trying to get it out is another thing you could hardly even get your hands on it you have to be a contortionist to get around at those angles um, but anyway in this case it turned out the fan is perfectly fine so yes there is a lot of trim missing here uh, so don't let that put you off you don't have to do any of this to solve this problem so obviously here we're talking about a right hand drive uk spec car so if you've got this issue where you don't seem to be having a working fan yet the controls work and obviously your heat pump and everything up front is uh, working then it could actually be just this unit here and this is called a resistor pack i've also seen it called a relay pack or a thermistor and this is located on the passenger side of the car again it is buried right up underneath but actually access to it is much much easier than working on the other side and this unit controls that fan and you can buy this new from a Renault parts department for about £100. And even though that might look rather terrible there with all this trim removed, it's actually relatively easy to get to and you need very few tools. So even if you don't have the tools, for about £20 you could buy yourself a quarter inch socket set and a torque screwdriver and then ideally you want a screwdriver or a plastic trim tool but you could even use a credit card for what you've got to remove then for probably spending 20 pounds or less on tools you could do this job yourself saving many hundreds of pounds so what you've got to do first is to remove the glove box and i'm not going to show you now on this video how to do that because there's already a video on the channel showing you that job so the link to that is in the description below and then when you've got that out you can then get your head up there in the footwell and you will be able to see this unit and it's sort of mounted up like that and it's got three wiring looms on it so you just remove the wiring looms and then you've got these two screws top and bottom to get the unit out and they are a five and a half millimeter hex head and that's where you then want this quarter inch drive socket and you want to make sure you've got a 5.5 millimeter socket and once you've got those screws out it is just a case of sliding this out so i'll just get my torch up there and show you there is also this motor here which sits up there on that white plastic which you could also remove as well to give you a bit more access if you want to and again that's held on with just a couple of uh, well three screws 
so that just allows you to see at an angle a little bit better. So the installation is obviously just the reverse, very simple, slide this unit back in, stick your two screws in, snap in your three electrical connections. If you have removed that motor, then make sure you put that back in with the three screws and then put your glove box back. The whole job is only going to take about half an hour in total. So if you've uh, found this video useful, please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube because that really does help other people find the channel. Plenty of EV videos already on the channel, so do have a look and do subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. And now with the resistor pack changed, we've now got the fan working and heat coming in the cabin and have got full fan adjustment. Thank you for watching the video. This channel gets small viewing numbers, so to get the video noticed in people's feeds, YouTube favours videos with what they term engagement, and that basically means comments. So please do comment on the video, do ask me questions, tell me what you want to see next. Also hit the little thumbs up button if you found the video useful or you liked it. Do subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button and then press the bell to be notified when new videos get uploaded. Also have a look at the back catalogue of videos. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel already. And also use the search function to find videos that you might find interesting. Thank you very much.